What is going on everybody? My name is Tanner Shanelter and thank you so much for coming to another Snowflow Films video. This is going to be part six of the Duramax square body build. What I'm going to be doing today is hopefully getting this cab and the front clip put together and tack welded up onto the Duramax frame and hopefully all actually solidly welded. So this is going to be a big part of this process. This is going to, this is a huge part of the entire build because this is when it's going to actually start shaping into an actual truck. Uh -huh. All right, guys. Well, I'm so sorry I was not videoing any of the process, but uh, the thing's actually sitting on the frame now. I got the front fenders bolted on on both sides. That was able to help me set it to where it needed to be. Um, I've only got four. I've got each of the corners uh, just welded in right now, and it is still held up by supports and. We were able to get the cab within a 16th of an inch level in every direction, it seemed like. Um, so I'm not too worried about it. It looks pretty good. Fenders line up really good with the tires. So I'm pretty happy with where it's sitting. Um, so the next step now is really just, I mean, finishing out all the welds. I just used angle iron here because this is just a support right now. And in the back here, it's not even welded. I just took a piece of scrap block and welded, tack welded it in there so that it could keep it from shifting around side to side. But I uh, need to freaking fill in every bit of this. And it's a bigger gap than I thought it was going to be. So I'm gonna have to figure something out with making it structural um, and easy to do and like not too ugly looking. I mean, I guess it's gonna be covered so I'm not too worried about it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get going, start cutting out some metal, start welding some beads and uh, see how she turns out. All right, guys, well, as you can see, I have cut out some metal. The first two pieces I just did right there and there, and uh, they were kind of just practice to see what I liked. I had them tacked in place, and I actually really liked how it looked and everything. So I cut out a really long section and went all the way to the back corner. Well, not to the back corner, but up into where it starts curving up. I'll have to do some custom pieces here. But I got it solidly welded through on, uh, let me pull my finger out of the camera, on the back and the front. Nothing looks good, like I said, guys. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect. But uh, I brought the bed over here, the bread, the bed from the Duramax, and just chopped a giant section out of it, and that's what I'm using. Um, and that's actually working really good. So, I know I'm gonna have to do more underneath to brace it, because I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can see that. So down there, there's a little brace, and I'm gonna have to box those in. And I think I'm also going to um, you guys probably won't be able to see under here. Eh, not really, no. But, so there's this top layer here. Let me turn around. There's this top layer right here that I just welded in, that stuff. And this rocker goes all the way down and around. Well, I think on the bottom of the rocker, I'm just gonna angle it back up and then weld back into about like right here. But there's two layers back there, so on the bottom side of that. So it's gonna be double layered right here. I don't want anything to be just single layered. So everything's gonna be double layered. So it's gonna be pretty much those boxes across the entire bottom so that everything's nice and stiff and solid. Um, but that's all I'm gonna to do tonight. Um, I got work in the morning and I got a lot of homework to do. So I'll see you guys in a couple of nights when I can get back out here and start working on it. Well guys, I'm out here working on the truck again and uh, I think it's about time I give you guys an update because I've already been out here for a few hours. Um, so as you can see, I did the same thing on this side as I did the other side. Uh, all the plating in there, I got it just back to there. Um, welded all the inside of the rockers on, all the way on the inside of the floor and I just started plating in the firewall as well so I'm gonna do this kind of boxy box in all the way across the firewall and I'm going up to this top corner right now and I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna stick with that out in the center over there because I'm gonna need obviously I can't just cut this inside of this off because then there's holes right here for the valence and that's gonna be that would be open right up to the cab but I don't know exactly what I want to do with the inside of this yet but I know I'm gonna have to cut this out right here because I know that the new dash will not fit there with that whole section in there so I'm gonna have to cut that out and figure out something I'm not exactly sure um, I know I need the valence area for windshield wipers and stuff and uh, so I, but honestly, like that's kind of one of those things that I just need to get this thing welded up and I can figure it out later. 
Hopefully I don't do nothing that I'm gonna have to cut all apart. But I'm not really at a stage that I can just throw the dash up there and see if it fits and see what I wanna do now. Because I can't really, I mean, nothing is solid right now. If I still, watch, I, I, I don't know. If, no, uh, oh geez, that's actually pretty solid now. Um, it, this still flexes and everything, so I don't really want to be moving everything around. I'm kind of just keeping it stationary with jacks and with blocks and stuff, keeping it all up right where it needs to be. And then once I get it all solidly welded in, then I can start figuring that kind of stuff out. But I'm going to keep knocking this out. I think I'm going to try to get all this side done today. Hopefully, maybe all the way down to here. Um, I don't need this mount anymore. This is going to, that was for the inner fender, but the metal inner fenders won't fit because this is here. So I can't even use them anyways. And I don't think they'd even fit under there anyways. I'm probably going to just buy uh, some of the Duramax plastic inner fenders. Actually, I think I still have mine. So I'll make a way or find a way to make those work. So that mount can go. So I'm going to be going from here to the outside of this all the way down. Use this body line right here all the way down and then connect from here down to the bottom of this, right at the body mount right there. So I'm gonna be plating all this in, all in here, and uh, then I'll figure out what to do down here with the fender mount. Probably, probably just gonna run from this corner down to here and then stop and then I'll box this whole section in and then leave this open and then just weld this up like up here because I need access back here to weld or to uh, mount the fender to that. So I'm gonna go get going. I don't know how many more sheets I'm gonna be able to cut out because I'm kind of out of cutting discs. So I'm running on little tiny ones, but I'll send you guys an update when I get back done with all this kind of stuff. Alrighty guys, well I didn't get as far as I actually wanted to. I wanted to get all the way down to there, but I'm pretty happy still with where I got. Um, and I'm actually really liking this. I think this is gonna look badass when it's all done and painted and ground down. You won't be able to see any of these weld lines, hopefully. Um, I'm probably gonna have to use some Bondo and stuff to fill in because the gaps and the angles and stuff, I won't be able to grind the welds completely down. But I'll get them pretty close and with a little bit of body filler and stuff, it'll look real nice. And uh, I think it's gonna look pretty sick. So hey guys, so it has been a couple of months since I've worked on this truck, unfortunately. I have reasoning for it. I was working on my dad's truck. I actually painted his truck for him. Uh, it was kind of just like a practice run because I need to paint this truck too and I wanted to see if I could actually do it. And it turned out pretty good. But this truck, you might be able to tell, there's a different door. There's a different door. This is a power door actually. And so is this one. So I found two power doors and uh, I got them for 20 bucks each from a buddy. Actually, it was the same guy that I bought this frame from the frame of the crew cab Duramax or the, not the Duramax the crew cab spare body oh found a short bed also forgot about that picked this up in a town about an hour away stuffed out in the trees it's in just about mid condition and uh, I'm gonna have to chop this bed right here add in about a two inch section to close this gap up and I'm gonna have to cut the cross members on the bottom of it because you can see the body line right here comes up about an inch short so I'm gonna have to lower that, extend it. Um, but other than that, I haven't really done much else. Um, I guess you guys haven't seen it with all the fenders and the hood on it and stuff like that and the other doors. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I got an incredible deal. This, um, well actually this was on the original one, the hood was on the original truck, but this fender, this door, this door, the other two doors on the other front fender, I got all for 40 bucks from that same guy that I bought the original square body from. Um, then I got the bed for 350, which is actually a really good deal with the condition it's in. It's gonna need repainted obviously, but I was gonna paint it a different color anyways. But uh, it's straight and there's no rust on it. And the only dent is like right here. And then where there's one over over there like right here on the other side or something i can't remember uh, but anyways guys i'm going to be getting back to work on this truck very soon and uh i need to finish up welding up that stuff you can see i got that side almost done haven't done the other side yet haven't done the middle yet but i gotta do that stuff <laughs> Whew. but uh another thing that i'm really happy about is I was actually able to make this whole front end fit over all the stock everything, well, except for that. But I'm gonna relocate that to 
I'm gonna turn it upside down and run it in here somewhere. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But a lot of issues people have is they can't get the hood to close all the way or they can't get the front end to clear over all this. But all I had to do was just move some of the headlight brackets um, I didn't move any of these brackets or anything. Everything just fits in there good. I'm gonna have to custom make a grill that's really shallow. I'm gonna have to redo the hood latch, obviously, because that sticks out right on the hood itself. Have to move these. But uh, other than that, it's going pretty good. So, yeah, as soon as I get out here and start welding on this thing again, I'll get the phone out and start recording again. All right, everybody. It is the next weekend since I have seen you guys. And I've got the truck in the shop. Oh, check this out. Woohoo! We got lights in here. Um, but I am ready to get going. And, uh, oh, that's heavy. I really want to finish out this firewall today. So you can see I got that left side all tackled up. You guys have seen that multiple times. But I want to finish up the center, finish all the way down the right, pull the fenders back off, and finish down on the front corners of the cab. <clears throat> put a few hours worth of work into this side and as you can see I've got a lot of this side welded up um, I don't know what I need to work on next I think I'm gonna do one more plate right here just this triangle from here to here to here and then it'll be matched to what I've got done on the other side and then for the center you can kind of see the lines I have drawn I'm gonna go a plate from there down to there a triangle right there and then a skinny piece that goes back like that back like that triangle and then the middle I'm gonna have a square piece just from that corner to that corner um, one thing if you guys haven't realized the trans tunnel indentation is not centered on the Duramax but it is centered on the square body so it kind of messes with your eyes a little bit it doesn't look like it's all centered but it is um, so it might look a little bit punky and that's why you can see this one is shorter than this one just the way that everything lined up, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical, unfortunately. But, uh, I, I don't know. We'll see how it looks at the end. Okay, guys, so I figured since I haven't really showed you exactly my process of doing this yet, I'm going to show you on this last triangle. So, what I did is I just took a measurement from that corner to that corner and drew a picture and wrote down seven. So that was seven inches. And then from that corner over to that corner right there you can see that dot with the from the pencil that was five and a quarter put five and a quarter down on the bottom measure from this top corner down to that corner and that was five and a quarter also now the reason i like to use triangles instead of squares even though i use a square right here on that centerpiece is because triangles if you have all three measurements then you can't mess up the angles all the angles will be perfect if the measurements all are all perfect to where a square you could get all the measurements correct but it can be skewed. And if you don't get one of your angles correct, all of them are off. And so it's really hard to get a piece to line up right. So I try to use triangles as much as I can unless there's an obvious, like this was almost a perfect square. So I just squared up one corner or, or two corners of it and then figured it out and it was pretty close. But uh, yeah, that's why I try to use triangles if I can. But um, so now got my piece of paper, got my gloves and the angle grinder and we'll head out to the meadow. All right guys, so we're outside and not only do I have an extension cord inside the shop, I have one running outside. And if I haven't showed you already, this is where I'm getting all my metal. This is the bed from the Duramax. Uh, the other side is completely crushed, so there was no resale value out of it. So this is what I've been cutting all my uh, metal triangles out of. So I got my piece of paper out here. I got a Sharpie tape measure and I'm just gonna find a spot. I think I could get it out of this right here, use this one edge and uh, we'll get her marked up and cut out. All right, guys, so I got it marked out, and uh, one thing you'll see is I have these kind of curved marks here. So what I do is I took this flat edge and marked seven inches on it, which was from down this corner up to right here where that mark starts. And then what you do is my other measurement was five and a quarter from here. So I went five and a quarter and I span it 
and uh, or spun it and uh, marked along those edges. And I come down here. This was also five and a quarter, so I put five and a quarter right on the corner and go like this. And wherever those cross, that's your. That means you got five and a quarter here and five and a quarter here, and you're ready to cut your triangle out. So now that we've got our piece cut out, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly make or uh, confirm that it fits, which it does, close enough. I'd be happier if it sat like that, but there's something up in the way and you're never gonna see this piece anyways. So it fits. Next, we gotta get the flap wheel back on the grinder, which I already did, and take off any kind of material all the way down to bare metal on every corner so that it can be welded in. Well, time to turn the welder on and uh, get her tacked into place. Well, I'm big sad right now because I literally was just about to finish this up and show you guys. And as you can see, halfway through, if this will focus, I started getting a lot of pitting and my welder was not wanting to cooperate. Went to go check my gas. And I'm out. Wonderful. That's officially, why is my phone way out of focus? There we go. That's officially the uh, second full tank of gas that I went through on this truck project. So, woohoo. You gotta go get that refilled and I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go do that. So, that's just absolutely wonderful. Well guys, unfortunately, I don't really know when I'm gonna be able to get that tank refilled or just swap it out for another one as they normally do. Um, so I'm gonna call this the end of this video. Uh, which sucks because I really wanted to finish welding up this cab for this video. But I just don't see how I'm going to be able to do that with having to get a new tank. Because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be working for the next rest of the week and next week. And I'm probably going to be busy too. And uh, I really need to get this video out to you guys. I haven't even got the last video out to you guys yet. Which it's been done for like over, over a month and a half. And I still just haven't uploaded it because I don't know why. But that's officially the end of this video. Um... Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or want to give me any info or tips or anything, just leave them down in the comments below. If you liked the video, like the video for me. If you disliked it, dislike it. Uh, I don't really care. I do this for the fun of it. It's, I'm not a big channel or anything. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.